Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is a reading for the month of February. Uh, for this reading, <clears throat> sorry, I am using the coffee cup and then I'll be drawing out cards from the uh, Tarot of the Divine deck here and I also have the beautiful Moonology Oracle deck. All right, lovely Cancerians, let's see what we have for you. Cancer. Okay. Ah, Cancerians, all right. Hmm. There's a, a nice feeling of lightness here. Things in February seem to feel nice and light. Something seems to be coming together in a more pleasant way. Um, you know... It's like there's there's a feeling of um, things are now getting sorted. Things are now that there was something uh, before where things were piling up and having to just sort of always rummage through things or maybe a little bit disorganized. But now um, it's it's a lot lighter, which is really really nice. Um, you know, there's not that much. It, it, there's less worry basically in the month of February than what you may have recently had as well. Um, there seems to be some somebody missing you or you missing. There's a, there's a feeling of of missing each other. Um, whatever kind of connection this is to the other person, family, friend, or or, or lover. Um, but you you are in in somebody's mind um, more than one person you you are being thought about a lot here um and there is also a generous offer is what i'm seeing some there's a lot of generosity um you you have been generous um over you know over a long period of time like that that is uh, you in many ways you have this generosity but there is it's like it's being um, reciprocated. There is some sort of generous offer coming to you, which um, it may come in, in in a kind of a surprising way. And you you are in that position where, you know, you should really believe in yourself and know that you deserve this, that it is your time. Um it definitely feels very, very fulfilling. I do see there were certain doubts before. Um, you know, you know that you can do it. You know that you can do whatever you put your mind to um, and that you'll be great at it. But sometimes there is this doubt that seeps in and it's saying to, and, and that can be very destructive. So here it's just saying to please just, you know, um, repel that and and trust your gut listen to yourself and believe in yourself also uh, there is someone around you that will always support you has your back they could also be in the spirit world um, there are certain like a a number of of um, events that are happening where it it may feel like um, a little bit up and down um it's there there you have like an an aim there there is light at the end of this tunnel that you've been walking through um and there have been you know these ups and downs sometimes things crash and you're like okay that wasn't meant to be and you have to go back to the drawing board and so forth there there are reasons for all of that and it is something i just see something that is very unexpected so you know you have this surprise sort of um uh change in the way how things are lighter and being sorted out you know um and and, and also th there's a reward at the end of this at the end of these uh these roads that you have walked down that haven't always been so smooth sailing. Um, and you'll understand the reasons why those things have happened and how, in, uh, in fact, they've benefited you in many, many ways. Um, I see lots of reading, um, 
doing research for yourself, questioning things, going to the source. Um, you're in this mind frame that you don't want to believe just anything that you hear or read. You want to really look into things. Um, for some of you, you're going deeper into your spirituality and that's really opening up many things for you. And there's, um, it, it's creating a lot more warm, warmer energy around you as well and who you attract. Um, you, I, I do see like an energy of, of popularity as well. There's an energy of popularity, of... Um, feeling your best you know there is this attitude that you are putting on um that you're aware of putting on just so you can you know you you're you're leveling up in that sense and you are pulling in you are pulling in um strong prosperity here like opportunities and chances for you to grow in your on, on your uh prosperity Hmm. There is a friend out there, uh, Cancer, that is really missing you. I know I mentioned something before, but I do see a friend in particular that uh, has been thinking about you for a long time and maybe a surprise visit from them. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. Hmm. I do see a burden finishing. Like all of this is... Very well connected in terms of things feeling lighter. Page of Wands. Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Three of Coins. All right. Mm, mm, mm. Yet, see, it's this is lovely because here with the Ace of Wands, as we start, um, I do see the universe has placed certain things in your life, in your way, for, for you to be prepared for something that is new that it, it, there's a new beginning here something that is much bigger than than what you could see you know at that time there's a there's a much bigger purpose for for starting this new beginning here and I do see like you're craving something. You have this passion. You're craving to, to do something with your passion. And you are passionate and it keeps you alive. And there is, there is an opportunity that I do see where you are being recognized. You are possible um, promotion here with the three of coins. But, you know, you realize the benefit in also working with other people that you can trust. So you can build onto something a lot bigger. Um you know, sometimes before you try to keep things afloat, but there's more of a steadiness now. Oh, wow. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. And the Queen of Coins. Mm, nice. You see, as I was saying, the lightness and this prosperity from the cup. Look at this. We do see this. Uh, there's, an, there's a healthy, emotional... Um, openness here you know there are certain things that you you have really kind of moved forward and not looked back and it's giving you a lot of abundance and happiness in your prosperity something is coming through and i was talking about this gift also that um is there's a gift there for you after you have gone through um, whatever chaos or ups and downs things are starting to kind of level out and and become a lot smoother as you're leveling up as well um, but there is like I get sweet emotions that's a particular message that I'm getting through now sweet emotions with this ace of cups and you knowing there's a, a sense of belonging um, and there is something that is being made right also. And I see here with the Queen of Coins, you're definitely working on something um, that is going to be long-lasting. Prosperity that's very long-lasting. Um, and I, I get like you are very well protected as well by whether it's, you know, um, it, it, from the spirit world or in the physical realm here. You are being guided all the time, Cancer. And it's very, very close to you as well. Working also with the um, with like-minded people. 
um, and someone that uh, sticks to their word and says what they mean. It, there's a lot of appreciation that you have for that. So things start to really, really uh, work out just as how you uh, have been planning or imagined it would be nine of coins. There you go. Look at that. I'm telling you with this, with with that prosperity, with that success, and look how happy he is also. You know, you get to really enjoy this um, this sense of freedom, the sense of independence as well. There's definitely more independence happening with you. And you're going to have the means to be able to do something that you've been planning. Um, and what you are projecting out, you know, the energy for you is very, very strong. What you are manifesting very abundant so make sure you are clear with what it is that you are um asking or looking for and in terms of like uh, connection or love connection i see that you are very proud with um with how far you have come with you, with yourself and you're just enjoying this period of there are strong connections oh sorry there are strong connections but you're also very happy with with you exploring who you are and taking time for yourself also okay for cancer please for cancer there is a removal of negativity I'm getting here as well. A removal of negativity. <laughs> Your hard work is paying off. Your hard work is paying off New Moon Capricorn. You see, it was that... I, I, I kept saying the um, there's a reason why you had to go through the ups and downs and how you, um, you, you've persisted. That perseverance, which is your hard work, is paying off it will pay off this is a beautiful confirmation for that and i do see you um the importance of also having to ground yourself you know not lose sight of your focus and i do get uh, there's something about um people that are true you know i said someone that sticks to their word um that's going to mean a lot to you you know because that you're not going to surround yourself with time wasters either i love this for you cancer thank you so very much for being here i really hope that this was helpful please do let me know i appreciate every single one of you love you all and until next time